Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here, and welcome to Scrap Squad Sunday. The scrap lift we're doing today is this adorable one. Um, the, the main things that I'm going to take from it, I don't have a cute little baby picture like that. Um, or I probably do, but it's a hundred years old and I, uh, I have a couple other photos that I'm going to do. And it's also the scrap timber prompt for today is multi-photo. So I've got two photos of, they're not particularly great photos of um, family members gathered to say goodbye to Barrett at our farewell dinner. And James had to take the obligatory, you know, like different groups in different places. So I think this captures all of us except James. And I had a previous page that I did with James and Barrett. So this is me, Katie, Skye, and Barrett. And then there's Allie, Barrett, and Ava. So, <laughs> and Nikki was there too, but she was camera shy. So uh, this is what I'm taking from here are different length and widths of distressed paper um, and a title that goes along the side and some uh, frame-like elements and circles around. And there are some enamel dots and some other tiny uh, elements. I'm going to probably use sequins for those. And I've got a selection of frames that I've cut in half. Um, they're Vicki Booten uh, frames from um, Where To Next and the colors I think are compatible. I have some washi tape from 49 and Market that I think might work color-wise if I need, feel like I, uh, uh, when it's all said and done, if I need anything in the corners. Like she's got this little um, cluster down here. So we'll see. There's also some mixed media on the original. I'm probably not gonna do that. So I'm just going to kind of start, and I hated cutting this off of that wreath, but it is what it is. <laughs> I'm going to lay this down as my backing piece. I kind of want to do this one maybe up a bit, and then this one will go down a bit. And I've cut that in half so that the photo, it can look like it's longer. And let's, let's see, do I want that there? Maybe there. I think I kind of like that overall, and then I'll make the the frames work. Um, I'm just going to put the adhesive kind of down in the middle so I can curl it up. There. And then let me go ahead and put this on. You can see that I've used some Christmas papers and uh, I'm using the B-sides so that um, I can use them for non-Christmas layouts. And all of these papers came from my Scrap Backwards kit. Do that. This is a um, Spectrum Sherbet paper scrap that I had. Let's see. Down a bit. Okay. So that's kind of how that main cluster is shaping up. I'm going to do if I do this frame like this, I've got something I have to cover there and I have either a butterfly or a um, 
a circle cut from the papery pack from where to next. Because I want some light showing here. So I can do that right there, maybe. We'll see how all of this shapes up. Now I've got that one there. I'm going to do it here and have it kind of staying in the bounds. Maybe, maybe a little bit further out like so. And it still gives me something that has to be covered there. And that could be done with another frame too. I have this frame that says smile and I thought I would kind of overlap that one with it because I kind of like that bit, the, the smile showing. I'm gonna make sure that's secure on there. Okay, and then this one I thought could go there and it actually covers up that bit. So let me get, I'm gonna put the glue right there and I'm gonna put some on the ends there's some different levels it's going to have to negotiate here. And that works, I think. Curl that up a bit, just... Okay, and I've got this which could go here. And then when I put this, it kind of covers the ends of both. And I'll do that right there. So let me get this and then I'll put some glue on both sides of that. Okay. What I like doing with frames like this is, is going over and under different layers of things. And I'm, I'm actually seeing a spot here where I could go under the black, paper, the black and white paper here and over it here. So I, I kind of like that. I have, my title is going to be Family Time, and it's going to go right there. I'm going to put some foam under it. So that it kind of stands up. And I'm using some of the um, canvas ephemera from 
uh, Pink Fresh is, I think it's Lovely Blooms. And I'm introducing a totally unrelated color in this blue. So I may balance it with this right here, and I'm just gonna put that there. And I'm also going to include it here with this little tab that says love this, it would be better if this blue circle were down here and I used a different color up there like this yellow. So let me do that. And I'll show you why in a minute. I don't, um, I don't have many rules, but I kind of like the uh, the rule of threes, the the triangles, and um, I hate triangles as a as a shape, but I like it as a, a, a visual design rule. Um, and, and not so much a rule as it, it looks better to me. And I think it's a principle that's uh, embraced by most artists of, of any kind. So here, if I do it this way, the blues are kind of in a something of a triangle, or at least they're not. It, if I had the blue circle up here, all the blue would be on top because I don't have any blue to go down here other than maybe this butterfly. So maybe the butterfly is going to help me um, just kind of add blue to the composition. And my question now is, do I want the blue butterfly here or do I want it down here? or here. I kind of think it looks best right here. So I'm going to put it on that orange frame because it really contrasts nicely. I have this little um, plaid banner. that I'm gonna put under the two photos, kind of right here at this juncture. And it'll kind of just look like another paper layer. It's another of those canvas pieces. And then right next to it, I'm gonna put this circle that says BU, and I'm gonna put a B on it because it's a page about saying goodbye to Barrett. And we're hoping that he gets his phone today, Sunday, and uh, and gets to call us because Sunday, today, is his birthday. So that goes there. And I'm going to take the little backing off the dot and put this here, and then I have this pink circle, which I'm going to go ahead and, do I want to use it under the black and white or over the black and white? I'm going to sneak it in, maybe, how about here? I kind of like that.
Now it, now it won't slide under there like it did just a second ago. Come on. <laughs> What is the problem? I'm determined to make that work because I do not understand. It's catching on the glue, yes, but it should, I should be raising it up enough that it, so if I cover the glue with my finger, this is annoying and frustrating and all those things. And I'm going to see if that works. That's probably sticking out a little bit more than I wanted, but it's there. And I like the idea now, what looks to me is we need something there. And I like the idea of that butterfly flying onto the yellow circle. And so I'm going to get a piece of foam and get it over there. And then we'll see if we think we need anything else. I'm gonna, whoops, don't want that bent down. Okay, now, I am going to add sequins. I really like how the orange stands out because it's not really in, it's fairly similar to the gold that's in that uh, cocoa vanilla stripe. Okay. I'm just gonna have some here and here, um, and I won't make you watch all of it. I will say that it it's it seems to be heavier to the left, so I think I am gonna do a a washi tape. Um, I'm gonna put this here. Those colors are perfect, but I wanna get down to a greenish bluish bit. <laughs> and let me put that there. I've got little bits of washi sticking everywhere. And let me try to rip that and I'm gonna just kinda place it over right there and then I will find an embellishment to go there. Let's see what we're gonna do. Um, I have a, let's see, what does that say? That says live in the moment, that might work. Not sure, there's a little bit of thread hanging off that, and the color on this is ideal. So I'm gonna raise that up on foam, and then I'll put a few sequins around it, just to kind of balance it. Okay, so I'll do the sequins here. And then I'll do the others off camera. The ones in the other um, clusters. There. These sequins have some uh, kind of 
coppery and white and sort of a pinkish um, in the mix. So I thought it would look nice on here. I love the copper ones. I could, I'll probably have used all of those up uh, soon. Okay, so there'll be a few here and a few here, and I thank you for watching. Uh, happy Scrap Squad Sunday. I hope you'll check out Scrap Squad's um, uh, Facebook page, and there's never-ending inspiration there. It's just an amazing group, great group of people, and some amazing talent, so... Thank you for watching. Bye.